With Hermatra being added to the game, we can finally make the 5 man Omnic team. But are there more teams that we can make? There are many different factions in the Overwatch lore, so I created every lore accurate team that you can make in game and some extra ones for fun. The first part of the video will be teams that you can make in roll queue, the second part will be for open queue, and the last section are teams that you can almost make if some heroes were added to the game. Finally, I decided to put these teams on a tier list to see which Overwatch team would most likely win, well, the game Overwatch. One last thing, only 1% of my recent viewers are subscribed, so consider subscribing, especially if you watch some of my prior videos. This first section is teams that you can make with roll queue. So obviously the first team we got to talk about is Overwatch. On the current hero roster, 20 of the 36 characters have been in Overwatch at some point. Those characters are from the tank category, D.Va, Reinhardt, Winston, Zarya. From the DPS category, Cassidy, Echo, Genji, Mei, Farah. Reaper used to be a part of Overwatch, Sojourn, Soldier 76, Torbjorn, and Tracer. And from the support category, Ana, Baptiste, Brigitte, Lucio, Mercy, and of course, more I used to be too. This team already has over half the character roster on their team, so they will be able to counterpick whoever they want. And even though Doomfist and Kirikos are taking over, I'm going to preemptively put them into competitively viable, simply because they have 20 out of the 36 characters on their team, and that's kind of broken. Obviously, I'm looking at it from a gameplay perspective where you can only choose from those characters, and since they basically have over half the character roster to their name, they're going to be able to have really good synergy no matter what. But something that I think is a little bit more interesting is actually current Overwatch. So basically I took my Overwatch list and I cut some characters out. So right now Ana and Soldier are actually not a part of Overwatch because they're just kind of doing their own thing and they didn't answer the recall. Uh, Reaper is a part of Talon, that's kind of obvious. Mora is also not a part of Overwatch, he's a part of Talon also. And Torbjorn actually just straight up declined the recall, so he's not a part of it either. So that leaves us with Devo, Reinhardt, Winston, Zarya, Cassidy, Echo, Genji, Mei, Farah, Sojourn, Tracer, Baptiste, Brigitte, Lucio, and Mercy. And honestly, that's still a really good team comp. And so even though we lost some really good characters, I'd still say it's competitively viable, since they have 15 out of the 36 characters. Now speaking of Talon, let's talk about them. So in Talon, we have Doomfist, Ramacha, and Sigma as the tanks. We got Reaper, Sombra, and Widowmaker as the DPS. And for the supports, we got Mora and Baptiste. Now, Baptiste actually is not a part of Talon anymore. But right now, we're talking about Roll Queue. So I just put him in there. So this is all of Talon, if they've been in Talon at all. The first thing I have to mention is that Mora and Baptiste are the only healers that can possibly be in Roll Queue. And so no matter what, that's going to be your healers. Next up is that we only have three DPS being Widow, Sombra, and Reaper. This doesn't give us much leniency, but luckily we got Widowmaker for long range, we got Reaper for short range, and then we got Sombra as like a, it's kind of a filler character. And finally, the tank roster is actually pretty good. Doomfist is pretty broken right now. Sigma is overall a good character. And Ramach is a little weak, but he's still there. I'm going to put this team in the quick play stomper category, just because they do have a decently well-rounded team comp. But since they only have two healers and they can't really flex super well, they can't really go into competitively viable, but I'm going to be honest, this team comp is not that bad. I mean, imagine Sigma up front, a Widowmaker sniping down, Reaper kind of protecting the back line, Mora and Baptiste just doing their thing. I feel like this is a pretty powerful team comp, especially as we go on. I'm going to be honest, the team comps kind of get weaker, but this team comp does have a little bit of flexibility, and it's not that bad. Now the next team we have up is what I call the friend group. This was actually suggested by someone in my Discord, so feel free to join the Discord. And they called it the Armor Forever team. I like friend group because it's funnier, but the Armor Forever name is better. <laughs> so basically, this group is Reinhardt, Bastion, Torbjorn, Brigitte, and Mercy. Just because they all hang out together, they all kind of live together. And so, they're a team. So the tank is Reinhardt, the two DPS are Bastion and Torbjorn, and the supports are Brig and Mercy. And I'm going to be honest, it's not as powerful as you think. Reinhardt's not a super good tank, but he's really fun to play, kind of easy to play, and you get a lot of value from him. Bastion, I would say, is on the weaker side of DPS, but can get some value. Torbjorn, I think, is in a good place. Brigitte is actually considered bad right now. I still get value from her, but she's not the greatest. And Mercy, I think, is in a good spot. I'm going to put it in quick play viable, just because this team comp actually does have a lot of synergy together. Reinhardt and Brig, Mercy can be there to res the Bastion or pocket him. Torbjorn is just Torbjorn and is good. And so this team comp actually has some potential. Now your Bastion could get farmed by a character because Bastion's not that good. Brigitte could get poked out. There's some holes in the team comp, but it's not that bad. 
You may notice three different countries on the tier list. Using the hero's origins, I'm going to put them on a team based off of their country. So first off, we got the Asians, which includes D.Va, Genji, Hanzo, Mei, Symmetra, Echo, Zenyatta, and Kiriko. And if you're wondering how I got their locations, I actually used this YouTube video and the wiki, so there you go. The first thing I gotta mention about this team comp is that D.Va has to be the tank. And not only that, but the supports have to be Zenyatta and Kiriko. Zenyatta is not super good right now. Kiriko is amazing, so at least she makes up for some of it. Diva's is not the best right now, but she's not bad. And then the DPS are Genji, Hanzo, Mei, Symmetra, Echo. Echo is pretty good. Symmetra could be better, but she's not bad. Mei, again, is a sleeper pick. Hanzo is really bad right now, especially with this glitch. And Genji, we should probably nerf him again. No, but all jokes aside, this team comp, I actually think it's more viable than the armor pack one. Even though I actually really like the armor forever team, I do think some people would have more value with the Aegis team. I would say that D.Va is a better tank than Reinhardt. I would say that Kiriko is better than Mercy and Brig. And Zenyatta, I'd say, is kind of on the same tier as Brig, so their support lineup is a little better. And they also have more choices to counter people with their DPS, even if I think that Torbjorn is probably the best out of all of them. Maybe Echo's better. But all things aside, they just have more characters to choose from, so they're probably going to be a little better. Next up is the Europeans, which is Reinhardt, Sigma, Zarya technically, Torbjorn, Tracer, Widowmaker, Bastion, Mora, Mercy, and Brigitte. Off the bat, this team has a lot of choices. They have Ryan, Sigma, Zarya as the tank. Pretty good. They can switch when needed. By the way, Zarya is Russian, and Russia is in Europe and in Asia. But I looked it up, Zarya is like from St. Petersburg, I think? And so that is technically European, according to my five minutes of research. So if I'm wrong, I'm very sorry. On top of that, they have three choices for the support, which is Mora, Mercy, and Brigitte. Mora is kind of a noob stomper. Mercy is pretty good. And Brigitte, like I said, is not the best right now. And then the DPS are Torbjorn, Chaser, Widowmaker, Bastion. Honestly, some surprise picks that you could pull out. You could just pull out a Bastion when you need, pull out a Widowmaker. Trace is pretty good. Torbjorn's pretty good. I actually think this team is pretty good, and I'm going to put it at the top of Quick Play Stomper. I do think it's a little better than Talon, just for the flexibility. I think that Doomfist is probably going to get nerfed soon, so Sigma, I think, will be the best out of those two tanks. And so since both the Europeans and Talon both share Sigma, they're about equal. But the Europeans just have more flexibility, therefore they're higher. And now we're actually onto the open queue. These teams can only be formed in open queue. A quick rule for this is I'm going to assume that there's only going to be one tank, unless if a tank needs to fill a spot, if you know what I mean by that. So basically, if there's more than one tank, I'm going to only choose one tank. But if there's an empty slot, then I can start putting tanks into that empty slot. For example, here is a really good one for open queue. The North Americans is Ash, Cassidy, Reaper, Soldier, Sojourn, Sombra, and Baptiste. There is a big issue with this team comp in that it's all DPS except for Baptiste. To be fair, we do have Soldier and Sombra to heal themselves, but it's all DPS, and they're not bad DPS. They're just DPS. And so the North Americans, I'm going to immediately put into throwing. Because if you only have DPS plus maybe Baptiste, you're not going to do super well on average. I mean, I've won games with four DPS and one healer, but that's because we diffed them pretty hard, not because our team comp was better. To be fair though, imagine all that damage from different angles. That would be pretty good. But one Roadhog could just destroy that team comp, so it's, it's just kind of throwing. After that disappointing display, let's talk about the Omnics. I'm going to be real with you, I don't think the Omnics fare much better. It is Orisa, Ramatra, Bastion, Echo, and Zenyatta. Again, a pretty clear weakness here with only one healer. And that healer being Zenyatta, which I would say is maybe the worst healer in the game for this. I mean, maybe Brig would be worse just because she would have trouble healing her team. But Zenyatta just has so little healing and no one on his team can heal themselves. So the Omnics having Orisa and Ramatra is not that bad. I think that's a pretty okay combo and Bastion can help. Echo can help. Echo can kind of survive on her own. But at the same time, you kind of need to pocket these characters to get value. And Zenyatta is not the best for that. Like Echo works great with the Mercy Pocket. Bastion works great when he's getting help. Ramatra... In his ultimate, if you can keep him alive, he'll just win the fight. And Arissa, just as Arissa, you can kind of do whatever with her. The hard part with this is, I would put it... I don't know where to put it. It's definitely really weak. I'm going to put it in could work. Just because they have the potential to outplay the enemy team. 
but with such low healing, you could probably just get poked out. But again, I think it could work, even if you're probably going to lose most of your games. It, it could work more than just 5 DPS, also just because it's here in my notes. Uh, the South Americans were Jess Lucio, the Africans were Doomfist, Orisa, Ana, and Farah, so if they had one more uh, hero, I could have done a team on them. Just looking at that, that looks like a pretty decent team, so it'd probably be in, like, could work. And then the Australians were Queen, Hog, Junkrat, but we'll get back to them. Next up is a very surprising one, and that's the Missing Limb Gang. Why is this here? I don't know. I just noticed that there's a lot of missing body parts, and they're all here now. So we got Doomfist missing his arm, we got Reinhardt missing his eye, we got Cassidy missing an arm, we got Genji who is basically just mutilated, we got Junkrat who is missing an arm and a leg, we got Sojourn who is cybernetic, we got Symmetra missing an arm, we got Torbjorn missing an arm, and we got Ana missing an eye. I'm not gonna make cripple jokes today. I almost did. The first thing I gotta mention of course is the weaknesses and that's Ana. They only have one healer and on top of that Doomfist and Reinhardt. Doomfist, again, I think is going to get nerfed soon, but right now that's a pretty good tank. And Reinhardt, overall, is a good tank. He's definitely a good filler tank, but he's not that powerful, especially on high ground maps. But then we got a lot of decent DPS. This team, I think, is really hurting with only having one support. On top of that, no one else on the team can heal themselves except for Ana. So I think a good team comp with the Missing Limb Gang would be Ana, Torbjorn, Sojourn, Doomfist, and then some filler character. And so I think we have a really good team comp, if of course we could get another support that could help out like Kiriko. Unfortunately, Kiriko has all of her body parts, so the cripple team is good. I said I wouldn't make jokes. The missing limb gang is going into the quick play stomper category at the bottom. And again, another funny one. We got the boomer squad. This includes Reinhardt, Sigma, Reaper, Soldier 76, Sojourn, Torbjorn, and Ana. And again, this was suggested by someone in my Discord. Like I said, Reinhardt isn't the best. Sigma's pretty good. And then as DPS, we got Reaper, Soldier, Sojourn, and Torbjorn. Pretty well-rounded on the DPS category. And then we have Ana solo healing again. I should mention that Ana's not the best right now, but she's also not bad. It's a decent team comp, but it's not the best. I would put it above the Asia gang, simply because I think having 3 DPS plus Ana with the tank is pretty good. And on top of that, if we break our own rules, we can put two tanks, two DPS, and two healers on the team. But one thing I want to mention real quick is that I accidentally switched the photos. When I said missing limb gang, I put a grandma up here. And then when I, when I did the old people, I did the missing limbs. So I'm just going to switch them real quick. However, next up is if the characters were added category. This one, we're going to make assumptions about what would happen if we added one more character and predict who that character would be. And the first one, of course, is Blackwatch. I was a little disappointed when there wasn't five Blackwatch characters, so they're in this category at number one. Well, obviously not number one, as you will see in a minute. So this group has Cassidy, Genji, Mora, and Reaper. These characters are dragged directly from the Retribution event. Now, there is only one known member that can complete this list, and that is Fio, who I think was the pilot, according to the wiki that I read, like yesterday. And so Theo, I'm going to assume, is a tank character simply because she's a pilot and I think it'd be really funny if a tank character was basically just a UAV and that would be funny. And so imagine Cassidy, Genji, Mora Reaper, and a UAV on a team. How well would that go? I think it would go okay. However, not really. This team comp has potential, especially because in a brawly sense and not really a coordinated sense, it would actually do decent. So I would put it into the could work category if Fio was an okay tank. Like if Fio was on the power level of D.Va, I think this team comp could work a little bit better than the Omnix. I think Blackwatch's survivability would just depend on their positioning. And I think they could probably get Dove, but they have Mora to kind of bail them out. And hopefully Fio, if they were added, would be able to make the team live longer. However, they also only have one support, and their one support is, I'd say, more powerful than Zenyatta, but still in the could work category because it's not a great team comp. So next up in the if characters were added is the Junkers. I said they'd be back. This includes Hammond, Junker Queen, Junkrat, and Roadhog. And as you can see, there is no healer in this team comp. We could add Mary from the pit fight. We could add Geiger, I think is his name, from the pit fight. And we could add former King Mason Howell from the pit fight. I personally like Mary the best, so we're going to add Mary into this theoretical team comp. Let's imagine Mary as like a 300 HP support who can heal like Mora and just like punch people. There we go. That's Mary. Uh, how does team comp go? I think this team comp has too much tankiness just because there's three tanks and Roadhog's really good on his own. Roadhog's really good. 
So he doesn't really need to synergize. Same with Junkrat, as long as you can somewhat heal him. Junker Queen is going to struggle even though she just got buffed. And Hammond, I think, is the worst tank right now. So he's going to struggle too. However, of course, this is like a very solo playstyle team comp. Junker Queen would need the most assistance out of this group. Or Mary, I mean, theoretically. But this team comp is all about just kind of getting a pick, I'd say. And so I don't think it's really that bad of a team comp if you are good at your characters. They don't synergize super well, but they also don't unsynergize. They do pretty decent, and I think you could get ran over with a good team comp, but I think it could work. And with all that nonsense out of the way, I'm going to put it in could work. I think having Roadhog Queen, Hammond, Rat, and just some theoretical healer on a team comp, it could work. Now we're going to have to use our imagination for this one, and this is the Deadlock Gang. The only two members are Cassidy and Ash, but... I got a suggestion. I don't remember where I heard this from, but the deadlock triplets. I want them added to all three as different characters. One tank, one support, one DPS, or even better if you want to fit into this team comp, two supports and one tank. For this, I'm going to assume one of them is DPS, one of them is tank, and one of them is support. So the deadlock gang, how would they fare in Overwatch? Well, we got Cassidy and Ash, who are okay characters, not the best. And now we got a deadlock triplet tank. I don't think they'd be super good. they kind of be like queen, kind of a smaller tank. Uh, we got a deadlock twin DPS, which I think would probably be on the same level of Cassidy and Ash. And then the deadlock triplet that is the support. Not really sure what they'd have. I think they all have guns, so maybe like Ana. This team comp, I think, would be very easily dove. And I think would have trouble killing things that are kind of tanky but also they would kind of get poked out themselves. So I think this team comp would kind of be really weak. So I'm going to actually put this at the bottom of throwing simply because I honestly can't really predict the future. Unfortunately, we don't know the power level of the triplets. And so we don't really know how powerful they'll be. So I have to put them in the middle of the pack. And I feel like they wouldn't do super well. Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to assume they'll do better than four DPS. So I'll put them in could work. But I can't really put them much higher because I think the other team comps are actually better. And now that I'm said it out loud, I'm going to actually put them at the top of throwing. Again, it's just a weird team comp that I don't think would work very well. In a way, it's like too much hit scan. But after that one, we got the Mecha Squad. And we only have D.Va. That's it. But there's at least five members plus a mechanic. So let's talk about that. I'm going to just make a bold assumption that the Mecha Squad is basically four D.Va's plus the mechanic that can heal them. How good would that team comp be? I think that would be a pretty good team comp. So I want you to imagine four divas on a team, and then the engineer from Team Fortress 2 all on a team. I think that would be a pretty good team. Very viable. All of them diving someone, and then we got Torbjorn, the engineer healer, sitting down like, hey, Mecha Squad, when you're hurt, come to me. And they're like, okay, daddy, I, okay. Okay, Mr. Engineer, I'm going to come to you and heal up. From what I've heard, dispensers in Overwatch don't really work because they try to turn Symmetra into a support character. But four divas diving onto someone sounds pretty powerful, especially when they could just fly back and heal. So I'm going to put it at the top of quick play viable, simply because, like I said, all of it's just speculation for fun. And so we don't know how powerful the other three Mecha Squad characters would be, plus the Engineer, who is the guy from... The diva. The, I'm gonna just look up his name. I I get bullied when I don't look the names. The guy's name is Daehoon Park. I can't really say that. We'll call him Park. So if Park was a support character, we don't really know how powerful he would be. I'm going to assume he would place down a dispenser like the engineer from Team Fortress 2 because I find that funny. But assuming he's an okay character, I think he'd be viable in quick play. I think this team has a huge weakness of all being tanks and then one diveable support. So, it's quick play viable, maybe not much more than that. But wait, the tier list is full, but not really. There's one more left. And I know what that looks like. That looks like the Shimada symbol. Are the Shimadas making it to Overwatch 2? Well, the issue is there's not enough characters for me to make a Shimada team. However, I gotta plan to fix this. So we got Genji, Hanzo, and Kiriko on a team, right? They're all Japanese. They've all grown up together. They know each other. But wait, there's more. You need two more characters. And one of them, you need a tank, right? And so in Hanzo's lore, he goes to Nambani at one point. 
And so that means that there is potential, a small chance that he met Arisa once, right? Right? And so what I imagine is Hanzo going like, hey, Arisa, you want to help me and join my team? And Arisa's like, yes. And she joins the team, right? But wait, we need one more character. And who's a great character who knows Arisa? Eevee, right? And Eevee built her, so she'd be a support character. But that's not very good. So we're going to give Eevee a shotgun for no reason. And we have the best Overwatch team ever. And so we're going to put the Japanese Dream Team in the Uber S tier. Thanks for everyone for watching. And if you've been enjoying my videos, consider subscribing. Like I said, only 1% of my viewers have subscribed, which makes me a little sad. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any other video ideas, feel free to stop in my Discord. And I will see you guys later.